Hello everyone, welcome to Epic Server Service Cloud Series and this session is on communities. Before I start, I would like to thank Amit and Epic Servers for giving me this opportunity. Myself, Ranjini Janardhanan, I am working as a solution architect at UST. I am a Salesforce certified system and application architect. Also, I am the leader for Kochi Women in Tech community group. Community cloud is now known as experience cloud and earlier we were used to create communities and now in experience cloud we will be creating sites. So whenever I mention community cloud or experience cloud or sites everything is the same. Let's see the agenda for the session. First let's see why do we need communities. And we do have different types of licenses that Salesforce is providing for communities. Let's see how we can choose the community license based on our requirements. And finally, let's create a community. So our first agenda is why communities? Salesforce communities are brand spaces that work to facilitate collaboration and connection for employees, business partners and customers. When you need a way for your customers to engage beyond the company's social media platforms, you can create communities. Customer sites give customers an easy way to interact with the company whenever and wherever they are. They can search for articles, ask questions and get crowdsourced answers or get support from customer communities. Community licenses. There are three different types of community licenses that you should be knowing. Partner community, customer community and customer community plus. If your users need access to leads, opportunities and campaign, then you need to go for partner community. If not, if other than leads, opportunities and campaign, then you can select customer community. But if, uh, if your users need access to delegated admin reports and dashboards or record across accounts, then you will need to go for customer community plus. Let's see the steps for creating a site and after that uh, I will demo uh, how to create a site. First step is to choose a template that suits your requirements. After that, you can pick a theme uh, in order to brand your site. And you can add the components and contents to your site. After that, you can connect the data and process. And finally, you can launch your site. Now, let's see a demo. Let's see how can we enable digital experience and create a community or a site. Go to setup and search for digital experience you can go to the settings and enable this digital experience you will need a domain name here i'm going to give some domain name okay Okay, now the digital experience is enabled. We can create a new site. Let's create a new site now. If you uh, search for site from setup, you can see this all sites. And from here you can create a new site. When you click on new, it will ask for you to select a template. So I'm going to select this customer service template. I'm going to create a new one. It will take uh, two, three minutes to get this site created and you will get an email. The site got created and you will land on this page. 
you can see uh, builder moderation all the associated setups that you can do from here and now let's click on uh, administration okay let's go to the members tab and from here you can select whatever profiles or permission sets that you need to add to the community who can access this particular community for now i am just adding this support uh, profile and this i have already also created a permission set called as customer support site pilot group with some knowledge permissions i'm adding this also okay now let's go back to this builder okay from here you can actually uh, uh, brand your uh, site uh, okay if you go to this uh, theme and go to images you can add your uh, company uh, logo uh, yeah I'm adding this logo and you can also add the header image yeah okay yeah you can see the logo and the header image got updated and then you can also uh, change this uh, header settings so i am just changing this wordings yeah. that's it you can see that got uh, updated then and there and once you are done with the uh, branding you can just publish your site this publish uh, publishing the site can also take a while you will be notified through email also once that is done yeah anyway this got published once the site is published you can actually preview the site okay uh, when you preview you can see how your site is actually looking like and you can come back to builder and add additional items if required you can add uh, more pages like you can add cases case details in case you are planning to uh, do a customer support through this community you can manage uh, customers creating the cases and routing it to the customer agents that is also possible here i have listed some of the references that i used for preparing the session with that we have completed the session on communities once again thanks uh, apex servers for giving me this opportunity thank you